Their exile had begun just two months after their discovery of Foguang Temple on Mount Wutai. Nine years later, Lin Huiyin was so unwell that she couldn't even pose for a photograph. Her doctor had warned her that she had less than five years to live. They arrived back in Beijing at the end of July 1946. One day, Lin Huiying and her daughter Zai being past the famous Tuanchang or Circular Well in Beihai Park. After eight years of war, they reveled in everything they saw. Yet the nation's suffering was far from over. Even before Liang Sichang and Lin Huiying got back to Beijing in mid-1946, and even before the ink was dry on the truce signed by the Guomindang and the CPC, fighting broke out again in the northeast. A year earlier, Liang Sichang had written to Mei Yiqi, the president of Tsinghua University. In his letter, he suggested that the university establish a department of architecture as soon as the war was over. Dear Sir, Tsinghua's engineering institute is now more than 10 years old, but architecture is still not a part of the curriculum. Of all the universities in China, only two, Central and Chongqing universities, have a department of architecture. Our cities have been badly damaged by war and will probably be even more so when the counter-offensives by our army and the Allied forces begin. Britain and Russia had a reconstruction plan and specialists pre-prepared in the early stage of the war, while our country has neither. As an architect, Liang Sichang was worried about the reconstruction of his war-torn country, and Tsinghua University shared his concern. The university agreed to establish not only a department of architecture with Liang Sichang as the dean, but also, jointly with the Society for the Study of Chinese Architecture, an architecture institute with Liang as the chairman. The country enjoyed only a brief period of peace before war returned. But in that time, the leading scholars returned from the southwest, and across the country, universities and colleges prepared for the autumn semester. As for Liang Sichang, he was sent by the Ministry of Education to the United States. There, he would study post-war reconstruction and lecture on Chinese architectural design at Yale University. His position as dean of the department at Tsinghua University was taken up by 24-year-old Wu Liang Yong. Wu Liang Yong was a graduate of the architecture department of Chongqing Central University. A number of articles he had published as an undergraduate had brought him to Liang Sichang's attention. Liang had been following his progress with interest for quite some time, and he had made him his personal assistant in Chongqing. I 
我说愿意啊，呃，他说你要愿意呢，就是你到清华大学来当助教，这个对我呃一生有很大的呃有相当有决定意义的，可以这么说的。一进去了以后嘛，我就我就打听各个系，说将来要搞一个建筑系，叫梁思成，是梁任公的大儿子。说嘛说这个，他他儿子是国宝，他对这个建筑史历史啊，中国建筑史非常研究的非常深透。那么我就这里啊就联系连到这个梁先生的梁梁梁梁启超的儿子，就是就是我们的系主任了。During the war, Zhang Depei had worked as an interpreter for the U.S. Army. A great admirer of Liang Qichao, he was drawn to the architecture department headed by his son. I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now modern stuff. I am Liang Liang Lin's fan. Now I just said, now in the first year, 13 students were admitted to the department. They began their studies in the autumn of 1946. Wu Liangyong was the only lecturer. Apart from teaching, he was also responsible for the administration, which Lin Huiyin discussed with him from her sickbed. This time, I saw Lin Xian with Chongqing. I saw him as a different. 哎，他当然也休息过来了，而且，呃，也也等于，呃，打扮打扮嘛，就是，所以看他精神很好，唐风很健，啊，什么都唐。当时我妈就是，把他全部心血都拿出来帮这个吴先生把这个建筑系搞起来，从这个桌椅板凳啊，行政工作、啊。一直到这个课程的设置啊，甚至是这个第一次学生怎么上课啊，什么，全部都都都参加，那真是花尽心血。但是当时呢，他既不是清华的教授，也不是清华的职员、职工，什么都不是，也不领任何工资